Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex, tantric sex, and the topic for this video is how to start with tantric sex as a couple. This is a very juicy and interesting topic because it has the power to bring back into your love life, into your sex life, into your couple, your marriage, a lot of fresh juice, a lot of fresh energy that might really reawakened passion, sexual energy, sexual power in your life. So I'm going to give you some simple tips on how to do that so that you can really get started straight away. If you're in a relationship, if you have already been married or with that person for a while and you really want to bring this dimension of tantric sex in your, in your couple. So the first step get my book here we go tantric sex energy pathways to absolute bliss and ecstasy this is my uh, given name francisco bujan i call myself now shiva rajaya and you can get this book on my website vitalcoaching.com right there and you can also get it on amazon it's in different formats Having the hard copy around is very useful because you know you you see it on your in your bedroom or on your kitchen table. You might open it and get some ideas straight away. It's packed with inspiration. This is a result of like 25 years of tantric exploration, and so it will really save you lots of time and trouble and speed up your vital sex or tantric sex evolution. You have lots of techniques, lots of ideas lots of core mindsets. You can get a digital copy that you can download to have it on your cell phone. And right now it's in free access on my website, vitalcoaching.com. That's step number one. Step number two, watch my videos. So I have lots of content and lots of ideas and lots of very juicy techniques. So go through the videos, watch them with your partner, take some notes and uh, get inspired. This is a good way to, uh, you know, to get the juices flowing so that you uh, feel the motivation kicking in. And also you get really some core ideas and mindset about that. There, there are also podcasts, MP3 audios that you can get on the website. So it's all on vitalcoaching.com. There is a link over there. You would see different icons with different channels on this website and uh, the vital sex or uh, tantric sex channel is right there for you to access. The third tip is set up a schedule or the idea to make tantric sex your priority for at least 30 days. So. You start, for instance, on the first of the month or the 15th of the month, and you actually time it. You know that during those 30 days, you are going to give extra attention to your sex life and start engaging to practices which might stretch a little bit your comfort zone. Don't give up after the first tantric sex date, okay? It's a matter of continuity. You want to bring these qualities and these techniques into your life you have to bring some focus, some attention, and maybe even a little bit of discipline in there, okay? You can approach always tantric sex a little bit like a yoga class. It means that there is a set of practice and techniques that you can try that are really going to become anchored into your system, into your life, into your body and your mind once you start repeating them frequently. Tip number four, sex dates, tantric sex dates. You have to set up these dates. Instead of just waiting for the moment when you both feel inspired, you actually uh, secure a time in your schedule where you are going to be engaging together into these practices. So in my opinion, in, when you start, you could have a tantric sex date every day. A short one it could be 15 minutes it could be half an hour it could be an hour in the evening when you are both available uh, another way to do it is to have a couple twice in the week a four hour 
time where you dedicate this time and this tantric sex date to those practices. So the ideal time is between 6 and 10 in the evening. When the evening comes, there is you know, a feeling of uh, romantic energy. You are very often more available. You have no distractions. It's important that when you have a sex date, you have a tantric sex date, that you turn off your cell phones, uh, turn off your computers unless you are watching something that will inspire your practices and make sure that you're not going to be disturbed by friends, children, neighbors or family members. Okay, so sex dates. Tip number five, choose some techniques. Write them down before you engage and you decide for instance that there are five core techniques and you're going to practice each one of them maybe for five minutes, or maybe for 15 minutes. But you need to have some form of schedule or idea about what you are going to do, not just jumping in and waiting for the inspiration to come, at least in the beginning. Once you have been practicing tantric sex together for a while, then it's way easier to jump into the practice straight away and simply follow your inspiration and instinct. But in the beginning, it's good to have some pointers there. Uh, tip number six, choose who will lead the tantric sex session. Very often, especially for new couples, you will enter into discussions debating about what's better or not, and this debating basically takes time and energy. So instead of that, I encourage you to have that discussion before you engage into the tantric sex session, and once you engage, decide which one of you is kind of keeping an, keeping an eye on the timing and directing the session. You can also split the session and say that the first half will be directed by, by you and the second half by the other person. So uh, the reason why we do that is that you don't enter into discussions, arguments, debating, uh, because sometimes it can be really conflictual to decide what's going to happen. So having one person choose and decide and set up the schedule and the timing, you can do that together. You can, you know, set it up together in the beginning, but once the session starts, decide who will lead and stick to it. The tip number seven is to time it. Knowing when the session starts, when your tantric sex session starts and when it ends is very important so that you can really relax in the practice. You don't have to worry about how long it's going to take. Maybe you, you feel like you have to go to sleep. You need to, to relax and your partner wants to keep going and you didn't have an agreement about how long this was going to take. So that can create lots of stress. So I would say that when you start to engage into a tantric sex practice, uh, schedule it for an hour, one hour time. Suppose that you have your date, your tantric sex date at six o'clock. You eat together, you check a little bit the different possibilities. By seven, you are more or less done. Maybe 7.30, you start getting ready. Then you time it from 7.30 to 8.30. That's your, your main core there of practices. You might have a, a sequence of maybe five to 10 practices, things that you are going to try together that are very simple techniques. There are lots of ideas on other videos and then after that, you can relax and chill and maybe uh, have a sharing time or a feedback minute and uh, disengage from, from the practice. So having this timing there is going to allow you to relax, at least in the beginning. Again, we're talking about here um, tantric sex for beginning couples. And the reason why I'm giving you this, you know, this structure here with the seven pointers is really because it's going to make your life way easier to have a little bit of direction here. Okay? I encourage you to go for it. Try it. Uh, tantric sex is like one of the most magnificent, powerful experiences that you can have as a couple. Give it a try. Send me some questions. I'm always available on vitalcoaching.com for individual sessions or group sessions or uh, couple sessions if you need me. Have fun. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.